Hello lovelies, we have three months left until exams, so in this video I'm going to take you through what you should be doing now, what sort of things you should be focusing on with any three months left. For the majority of you, your exams would have started a couple of days ago, this time in three months time um, unless you're an a level student and they don't start until after half term but with three months left until the exams there are a few things that we need to focus on now i'm going to start this video assuming that you did what i told you to last month which was go through the knowledge checklist and check for gaps to find any gaps that you need to fill in and there are loads of free knowledge checklists over on my website. If you sign up for my mailing list, you'll get sent an email where you can download them all from. So if you haven't done that, then do that already. The next step after that is securing your core knowledge. So kind of like putting in the foundations of the house that we're building, making sure everything is in place. What I mean by this is by making sure you've got the fundamental recall sorted for your exams that are coming up. Because you can't do the really complicated stuff in the exams until you've got the basic stuff sorted. Now, I'm gonna use um, a baking analogy for this because this is something nice. Now, when you're baking a cake, majority of time, sometimes you have to add eggs to the cake. Now, some people are just gonna take an egg in its shell and put it in the bowl and beat it up because when the recipe says add an egg you have to know beforehand that you crack the egg that's in the fundamental core knowledge but if nobody has ever taught you that you need to crack the egg before adding it into the bowl then you don't know that you might have missed that lesson you might not really understand that you need to crack an egg before you put it into the bowl and mix it all up this is what i'm talking about getting the fundamentals, the, the core knowledge in place before we can take it and apply it to higher, really, really complicated situations. So this month, what I want you to focus on is your recall of short answer questions. So this is doing lots of like retrieval practice questions. These can be short answer questions that your teacher has given you. Um, the, the knowledge checklists that are on my mailing list come with loads and loads and loads of really short answer questions so you just go through and fill in. And another great way you can do this is multiple choice questions. Now, I am a massive fan of multiple choice questions, which is why I've put so many up on my website for you. GCSE Science, Maths, A-Level Science, um, Chemistry, Biology, Psychology and A-Level Maths and the GCSE History and GCSE Geography and Spanish. Little bit of Spanish. Anyway, I'm a massive fan of multiple choice questions for a whole range of reasons. They are low stress, low stakes revision. You get given a choice of four answers and you know one of them is correct and you have to pick one. So you don't have to come up with the answer yourself from your head. You get to pick one of the answers. And if you get it wrong, then you get it wrong and it doesn't really matter because this is only kind of like revision, nobody else is seeing this, nobody else is checking up on you. So it's really low stakes, low stress revision, but it is still really good revision because you will get feedback straight away on whether you've got the right answer for the multiple choice questions and you can say that, okay, I didn't get it right, but now I know the answer is this. I can use that next time. That is why I am such a massive fan of multiple choice questions. They are really, really easy for you to do. You don't really have to do any thinking about them. They're really, really easy for you to answer because you just click it and they are low stakes. No, nothing's gonna happen bad if you get these wrong. Low stress because you don't actually have to think about it, but this is the time when we need to be securing that knowledge in your head, taking it from your like, working memory and securing it in your long-term memory. And the more frequently you do questions like this, the easier they will become. So that when we get into an exam situation, and it's not a multiple choice question, and you're given um, like an open answered, maybe like a four mark question, you can go, oh, I know that bit, and I know that bit, and I know that bit, and I, and I can pull it all together. Also, you might get multiple choice questions in your exams. We know that for like A-level sciences, there is a whole section that is multiple choice questions. So they are really, really worth 
revising and getting that knowledge in there so those are all up over my website if you're not sure where to find them or you can go and have a look around for other places that have like thousands of multiple choice questions just waiting for you. Another great low stakes, low stress way of revising, spending your time at the moment is by making flashcards. Now you can do this the, the old fashioned way with a pen and a paper and you can make them beautiful and you can make them colour coded or you can use a range of online tools for this. The other thing you can do is just make yourself quick little video flashcards. Um, you can do this on your phone and then you have it on your phone, you can keep it with you and like watch it on the bus or waiting for the bus stop. You don't have to have the physical cards there in front of you. This also doesn't require you having an internet connection to be able to get onto the apps to do this online. So you can just record the little bits of paper flashing over like that or you can just record yourself saying it to you know, like in a video or in a voice memo or however you want to do it. This point we are just focusing on getting facts into your head going over and over and over and over the facts as many times as you can so that when next month we start thinking about doing papers then we can actually take all of that and start to apply it in different situations. We need to be using this time to make sure that we have things in place to make sure our mental health is happy and sparkly and uh, well maybe not happy and sparkly but at least stable so that when we get into the exams we have coping mechanisms already in place. So start practicing things like mindfulness, stuck into the habit of going for a walk after dinner, stuck into the habit of calling somebody for a chat. These are really really good things for you to do and it's definitely worth you taking the time to make sure that they become habits before the exam period. The weather is about to hopefully start to get a bit warmer and sunnier and things start to feel brighter and I hope it is uh, being reflected in your mood and making everyone a bit happier because we are getting closer to the exams. I am now like 99.9 .9 reoccurring percent certain that they are going to happen. Um, and I'm working on videos and papers and workbooks for you. So guys, don't worry, please, I've got you. Um, I'm doing as much as I can to help you. Um, we're gonna get through this. I'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>